हेलो इंजीनियर्स वेलकम टू सिविल निर्माण हियर नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ सीरीज स्टेट प्रो एरर्स एंड वार्निंग्स सो वी विल ट्राई टू रिजॉल्व एवरी वार्निंग्स एंड एरर दैट यू विल यूजली फेस वाइल एनालाइजिंग अ पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर सो हियर वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद अ वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो थ्रू अ शॉर्ट एग्जाम्पल सो लेट्स जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन रिजॉल्व दिस वार्निंग सो हियर आई हैव अ स्मॉल स्ट्रक्चर वेयर आई हैव अप्लाइड few loads and it has certain load combinations so let me just give you a quick way and let's understand how we can resolve this particular warning so we have three warnings so out of which uh, one warning we will resolve okay so <coughs> see here we have one warning that in the uniform member load item f3 not provided for member 38 case 1 right so we just have to check for the 38 number of member and with respect to load case 1 so there is one particular load which is available in case 1 where this warnings appears so let's get started so after the parameter as the warning suggests it shows us to go with the case 1 so i'll go with the case 1 as you can observe over here we have this four load cases and load case 1 is that load right and this is for member 38 so in order to check the segment uh, we can turn on the member number right and so that we can identify so for this particular member it is showing me the error right so now let's just quickly check in the load case one which particular load we have implemented right so there is self weight these are the other weights <coughs> you can check this out concentrated load this 2.5 with the 2.5 value right so all these loads are implemented somewhere here but yes you can observe over here this one is the load which is implemented on member number 38 so this is the chance so that's the reason for this particular load it is we are getting warning so that's how you should analyze a particular warning when you are reading a particular warning given by stat you should check for which particular member or for or which particular load case it is provided so you can quickly get back to that and resolve the warning quickly now let's just understand why it is happening so here you can observe for the minus 3 kN per meter square you can observe d1 is provided but d2 and d3 are zero so now let's just understand what's the reason here now see when one we specifies a particular uniform member load on a member then the software expects the data to be according to the following syntax format so let's just understand this syntax what is the syntax so for this particular warning we are resolving the issue right so the usual syntax is according to the member list then you have to specify your load syntax whether it is concentrated or uniform load or uniform moment likewise so here we have uniform load or uniform moment then we have to specify the distance specifications right so basically here f1 is the magnitude of the load that is the load value and f2 and f3 are the distance for the uniform load from starting node of the member right so let's just understand this through a sketch let's say we have one particular member here right so i have specified the d1 so that is ultimately distance of the start of the uniform load from the starting node of the member that is d1 and then second f3 that is in the form of d2 that is distance of end of uniform load from the starting node of the member so basically it is specifying you in which particular range you want to specify your uniform load that's it i hope this is clear to you right so for this particular member you can identify see d1 is the point from where your load will start and d2 is again from the start joint of the member only but it defines your end distance of this particular load right so that's how the f1 f2 f3 are represented over here right so if f2 and f3 are omitted let's say the member load is applied for the full length of the member right however if f2 is provided 
but f3 f3 is not provided let's say you have specified d1 right compare d1 with f2 and d2 with f3 okay however if f2 is provided but f3 is not provided then a warning message like this which i have mentioned over here will appear in the analysis output file now see in such cases the software assumes the value of f3 to be the full length of the member so here f3 is our d2 now we haven't specified d2 so it is assuming the full length and the loading is applied from f2 to the end of the member okay so if the entire length of the member needs to be loaded simply specify f1 and leave and leave out both f2 and f3 if the member is partially loaded okay one may use both f2 and f3 or in the other terms i can say d1 and d2 so basically this particular warning indicates that there are some uniform member loads for which start points have been defined but not the end points so let's just check out whether it is correct or not in our case right so if i take you to the editor part okay let me just show you here so let me show you the editor right so here we have specify minus 3 kilo newton load and see in the editor part we have minus 3 kilo newton with the d1 value 1 but here we haven't provided the d2 value right let me just take you to the load case 1 so here we have minus 3 and 1 so the distance d1 that that is indication that for this 3 meter length this member length is 3 meter the load is starting from 1 meter but we haven't specified the d2 value right so it is assuming the full length that's what it signifies in the output part right so the warning indicates that there are some uniform member loads for which start points have been defined but not the end points and this term f3 or what you can say here this particular value appears in the warning message which is represented here as this d2 value okay so i hope this is clear so in our case for this particular 38 member right for the member 38 the load value of 3 kilo newton per meter begins at location from 1 meter right that's what it simplifies as per the current loading right from the start of the member but does not specify where it ends right so by default the software would apply it till the end of the member which is what the warning matches message is conveying so if the rest of the member span is to be loaded with the same intensity we may ignore the message or alternatively we can specify the end location right in the editor so the warning will simply remove okay so let's just simplify so let me just simplify this if i'll show you here so the member length is 3 meter so let's put it let's say i want to specify it to the whole length so i have specified d1 that is the starting point of the load from 1 meter so from 1 meter it will start and till end that is 3 meter it will implement now we run the analysis and let's check whether it is giving me the same warning or not so out of three we have two warnings right so that that particular warning is eliminated right so that's how you can resolve this i hope this particular video give you some valuable information and you are now aware that how you can check your stat warnings in the reverse manner based on the output hints given by the stat pro simply you just need to check out the member number type of loading or simply you just have to check out your load case detail if the stat is giving you in the warning and then the load value in that particular load case or the member number or let's say for any particular similar warning you can check out like this the way i have checked and you can remove the error or the you can remove the warning so keep learning keep sharing share this to all the beginners who are learning stat pro don't just learn software learn concepts thank you